What's going on everybody? Good morning. Drones and dogs here. And I'm here for a quick outdoor test flight with this Helifar Z45. This little micro Wi-Fi FPV flyer has an onboard 1080p camera on board. Should get some nice footage out of there. Now it's a fixed pitch. You cannot adjust the camera. So it's fixed uh, pretty much forward. It might be a little bit angled down, but it's pretty much forward for the most part. And it's really nice. A little blue sleek color. Has hella far on the top. Has an on and off switch right here. I did do an unboxing on this guy in an indoor flight. So you can see how it flies indoors and everything. Has LEDs underneath that's very, very bright and visible on each arm. Has LEDs. I believe it has, um, I want to say it has green LEDs in the front and red in the back, I believe. If not, it's vice versa. So uh, no SD card slot. So you're going to get that, that 1080p recording directly via Wi-Fi to your phone. Being that it's a Wi-Fi flyer. And being that it's a little guy. It doesn't have uh, incredible range. Now, I did test flight it out yesterday before I did the uh, episode today. And like I said, there's very limited range with this guy. I'm talking about guys, you're only getting about 30 feet, maybe. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get any incredible range. And also, I noticed that the Wi Fi tends to uh, interfere with the transmission of the uh, transmitter here. So, that being said, I believe this guy is a much better flyer without using the Wi-Fi so uh, beginning of this flight but being this guy comes with two batteries I do have both batteries charged and I'll show you one of the batteries here here's the battery 3.7 volt 3.7 volt 500 milliamp milliamp hour battery with this common connector so some of you guys might even have these a few extra batteries like this laying around from some of your other quads so it's pretty nice but I'll do a little bit flying it with the Wi-Fi, show you how it flies with the Wi-Fi, and then I'll turn the Wi-Fi off and show you how it flies better without using the Wi-Fi. So this is the Helifar Z45, really small guy, fits right in the palm of your hand, looks really sleek and blue. Here's the battery door in the back with the charge battery that I have in there already. So you can see that right there. But it's a, it's a nice little flyer, man, especially an indoor flyer. But just it's if you're gonna get it for the camera I wouldn't recommend getting it for the camera because it's just that that, uh, that Wi-Fi interferes with the transmission of the transmitter that's all I can say that's probably the only con to this guy so without further ado let's get into this outdoor flight of this hella far Z 45 guys so let's go over the transmitter really quickly here's the transmitter right here it's really simple guys you got your trim features right here you got up trim, I mean forward trim, backwards trim, you got left trim, right trim, you got headless mode, one key return, take a photo, take a video, you got flips, you got flips on this bumper right here, the right bumper, and you got speeds on the left bumper, and you got three speeds, low, medium, and high, the foam mount right here that I put on, got our four AA batteries in the back, and that's pretty much it, man doesn't have any one key takeoff or one key land or anything like that so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and just power this guy on LEDs flash got red in the back green in the front like I said so I was correct I'm gonna go ahead and power on a transmitter do a up down that should bind us to the quadcopter lights flash a couple times it go solid also I want to do a down and to the left that calibrates the gyros of the quadcopter so we should have a nice level take off now let's connect to the Wi-Fi of the quadcopter now I believe that the Wi-Fi of the quadcopter is like yeah, yeah I'm already connected ZC and some numbers so I, it saved my connection from my previous flight now uh, let's get to the Wi-Fi or the app of this guy the app for this guy is the VS FPV app so let's get into that and the screen is gonna look like that and it's gonna say connect so you're gonna hit this connect button right here and then you should have FPV signal. Yes, guys, we do. So like I said, man, it's very limited range. And you guys, you'll see. You'll see when I get this guy up in the, in the air really quickly. 
I got my extra battery right there. Let me go ahead and grab that so I don't step on that. So you guys ready to get into this flight? Let's go ahead and get into this flight. I'm going to go ahead and start the recording really quickly. Got the recording going. Down and out on both sticks. Starts the motors. And then you just press up. And the guy goes up. So, there's not too windy here this morning. I'll say a uh, very mild breeze. About one to three mile per hour breeze. Very mild. It is getting blown back a little bit, so the wind is pushing it that way. So let's see if I give it some forward trim. Getting pushed that way. Nice looking quad copter. This is the first rate though. So that's the first rate. Not too bad, look at that. That's the yaw rate, first rate. Very slow yaw rate, very slow. Just moving with the wind. Full pitch, first rate. Full pitch. Go up a little bit. Full pitch. So flip with it. Nice little flips with it. Very visible LEDs on it. Let's go to the second rate. This is the second rate. There's our yaw rate and the second rate. There's our pitch, second rate, full pitch. As you can see, I'm keeping it close. Because of that, like I said, that Wi-Fi transmission with this transmitter doesn't allow you guys to go really far. Three beeps, third rate. There's our yaw rate. In the third rate. Here's our pitch. A lot more faster. A lot more tilt. Look at it. So it can get moving for a little guy. So let's see. Let's let's go up a little bit since we're recording. Fly around really smoothly. See, look, that was it. it. Got interference right there. You see that? Did that all on its own. So you see, it start. I got like almost to the top of that tree right there, and I start getting Wi-Fi interference. So I told you, look at that. Look at, I'm getting interference. It's, it's uh, it's acting like it's got a mind of its own. I'm trying to yaw it, and it's like doing its own thing. <laughs> so like I said, guys, you don't have much range. You don't want to go too far. Look at that. It's doing its own thing. It wants to drop down. Look at that, spinning on the zone. So that Wi-Fi, look at that, it dropped again. The Wi-Fi wi interferes with this guy a lot. So you don't want to do, you do, definitely don't want to take this guy too far because you probably will lose it. You know? And it looks like my phone, hope my, hopefully my phone didn't die. Uh, oh man, I think my phone might have died on me. Oh man, guys. So I think my phone might have died on me. So we shouldn't even have any Wi-Fi interference. Hopefully that recording saved. I hope. Because my phone died. But the Wi-Fi should be turned off now. So we should be having a lot better range. So look at that. Look how it performs without the Wi-Fi. I can go up. And not worry about it lagging. I hope I hope that recording saved, but you can see how it was behaving before the uh, phone turned off. It, it could have acted like that, but I noticed it. It acted like that yesterday when I had the phone or the Wi-Fi connected. It just it did that. It, it lagged in in my commands. I would I would tell it to yaw, and it would wait a few seconds before it actually yawed, and then it would yaw a little bit on its own. And I would try to combat that and stop it, and it would just act like sometimes it had a mind of its own, and sometimes it would want to auto land when it got too far. Far out of uh, range. You see, I made it to like the top of that tree up there, and the Wi-Fi started to interfere with it. So, let's see if I can get to the top of that tree now without the Wi-Fi being on. And look at that. I'm up there pretty good, and there's no interference. And that's a shame because there's a good that camera on board is a pretty decent camera, and it's actually it looks like it could be 1080p, but it's just you're not going to get any incredible range with this little guy. 
But anywho, so let's fly. We're still in the third rate. First rate, second rate, third rate. Pitch. It's a great flyer. Hopefully that uh, foot is safe for you guys. If not, I have to come back out here with another outdoor flight and show you guys some more of that footage. But you can already tell what I was talking about as far as the interference of the Wi-Fi range. But right now, this guy has a flyer without the Wi-Fi on. It's awesome. You can fly around, move around really good. Do some good funnels on it. Do some head hunting with it. Shoom. I like that blue color on it. Blue is my favorite color. Y'all already know that. Jones and Dogs loves the blue. Been flying for a good minute too. Off the one battery. Comes with the two, the dose. So yeah, good flyer, man. I would just say just stay away from that Wi-Fi because it might get you in a little bit of in trouble, especially if you're a beginner. But as a flyer, oh man, spot on. Spot on as a flyer, look at that. And this little dude is moving. Shoom. Look, guy is moving without a problem. Get a close look at this guy. Helifar Z45, there's our flashing lights right there. Flash lights right there. Let's go ahead, come down for a landing. Like I said, there is no automatic landing or automatic takeoff, so you just have to bring it down slowly. Throttle down very slowly. And just hold all the way down on the throttle stick and the motor shut off. So there you go, man. Here's my outdoor flight with the Helifar. Z45 and I know my phone died so hopefully I was able to save some footage for you guys and I hopefully you guys enjoyed this review I'll catch you guys in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe I'm your boy drones and dogs thanks for watching guys